What is a winter retreat? Is it just a time to see friends? A place where you listen to a speaker and a band? Is it just a time to get away? Or is it something much more? For some, winter retreat has been something more tremendous, something for them that started, wasn't ended, and has been relentlessly changing their definition of spiritual ambition. They left this retreat on a mission, fueled with their ammunition needed for a transition. These are those that can testify to the power of this retreat. They are now teachers and preachers, students, deacons, volunteers, good neighbors who if didn't go, wouldn't know where they would be. God used their little mustard seed faith and used it to orchestrate true life change just from showing up. I am one of those that I am speaking of. You see, this retreat did so much for me. It allowed me to show up for the wrong reasons, to walk in the door as a heathen, but to leave change even though it was the same season. I had been invited by some long-term friends, so I decided to go. I was only thinking about playing some dodgeball, and little did I know I'd be going there and finding God. He was the last person I was looking for, but he is so gracious that he made this opportunity an open door. That night, the speaker spoke clearly, and I had been severely mistaken that I was living in this gray area. You know, the one where you're still sitting, yet you think you're obeying God. But at least I was trying, right? But that night, gray was made into black and white. God showed me that what I was doing was not right, that I was not living for him, but he still wanted me back on his side. At that moment, I looked at the mess that was my life, and I didn't want to try it my way any longer, so I went to the altar. I told God that he could have it all, the sin I was bearing, my future, my goals, everything was his from now on. After I felt that waterfall of forgiveness, God answered me with something that honestly, that I couldn't believe, that he still wanted me to be in ministry. I thought I was too dirty, but the truth was he had now made me clean. This retreat is no different with its addition. You see, we are focusing on God's vision to let him see our heart's condition. That's why our sermons are focused on salvation, sanctification, and leaving on a mission. So why does God choose to use this retreat to touch lives, to have people encounter Christ? I believe it's because he cares and uses this retreat as an answer to prayers from the parents of a wayward child to the teenager who hasn't felt God's presence in a while to the pastor who wants to show his students that they are not alone to the directors that pour their time, sweat, and prayers because they believe that God will truly answer and rekindle an ember that will grow into a fire, then a blaze in hearts that will be used to change this world someday. Is this possible for one retreat? Can it truly change people's trajectory? Is anything too big for our God? Can this start of a new decade be just as impactful for the impacted of the past? I am not talking about an upgrade, but I am not afraid to say that the God who handmade me is entirely located here presently. That if his church would turn to him and pray, that an outpouring of his spirit would be displayed. For me, it's not a debate to say that God wants to move into this generation today. In the start of this new decade, let's make a decision to look forward to be more aligned with God's mission. 
let's let this retreat start us on a new and more powerful spiritual journey until 2030. What is a winner retreat?